make your website copywriting easier with the use of ChatGPT and website copy templates from Val Casola Writes. Today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial about how you can use these two together to make writing your website copy super quick and super easy. I've personally used these on my blog page and it took me about 45 minutes or less to write all of the copy and then about another 45 minutes to do all the designing and building in my website platform, which is super streamlined for someone who is not a copywriting expert and not a graphic designer, uh, not a website person at all. So this was a fantastic process for me. I really loved it. I'm going to show you how to do it just quickly before we dive in. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm an online marketing strategist and mom of four. I share marketing and business growth strategies to help even the busiest entrepreneur. So let's dive into today's topic where we're going to be learning how to use these website copy templates and chat GPT together. Okay, just quickly before we dive in, I wanted to give you an overview of what's included in these copy templates from Val. And if you'd like, you can purchase in using the links in the description. So she's got some fabulous information right at the beginning about how to use the template. Her instructions are great, so you do not need to have any prior copywriting experience to use these. Uh, and then within each section, she shares the different pieces that need to be included on this page. In this case, it's the blog page. So this one's a little bit shorter because there's less information that needs to go on your blog page versus like your about page or your home page, which she also has copy templates for. So as you can see in this one, we are working on the hero headline for the beginning of the blog page. She gives you some fantastic information and then some prompts or questions for you to think about what information should be included that is relevant to your business. So you can jot some notes there. Personally, I love these frameworks. So these are literally copy and paste frameworks that I will actually copy and paste into ChatGPT to help me write the content for this page. And she also gives you real world examples so that you can see them in practice. So you can choose the ones that work best for you, add some information about your own business. And if you're like me, I'm using these in conjunction with ChatGPT to make it even easier. So there's also a spot down here too, where you can make some notes. So in this particular example, like I said, we're working on the hero headline. So I noted some things that were important to me. Um, I decided I wanted to use the hero headline idea number one. So I literally copied this information and then went over into chat GPT and entered it in the following way with this prompt. So it's act as a high ticket copywriter and use the following hero headline guide to write copy for my blog post. So this goal is to introduce what readers can expect from my blog. So then I copied, this is the framework here. I copied that into chat GPT and then I just filled out the one section here. Whoops. Uh, where it was the brackets where it's the name of the blog. So I filled in my blog name and then I gave it some details. So here I would suggest that you also include some of the notes from your first brainstorming session in here. I didn't need to because I've trained ChatGPT to know who I am and what I do. So this was enough information for it uh, to give me what I needed. So this is what it gave me originally. So I thought that the copy up here was really good. I just found that the points down here were very specific to social media and my business is multifaceted. I have social media, I have email marketing and I have podcasting. So I gave it a follow-up prompt asking it to create one bullet point for social media tips, one for email marketing and one for podcasting. So I got a little more specific with it, which you can do, or you could have just filled out the prompts originally uh, and ask it you know, for social media, email marketing and podcasting in the first place. So this is what it gave me back the second time. So I just hit the little copy button down here and I pasted that into my little workbook section here. And then I did make a couple adjustments to it. I wanted to highlight some of the keywords in each of the bullet points. So I did that social media, email marketing and podcasting so that it really stood out. And then from here, I took that and I put it into my blog page. So I'll show you what it actually looks like in here. I left the full version, but as I was building, uh, after talking to Val, I decided that it would be better to streamline it a little bit more and make them just a little bit shorter so that they were punchier and easier for the viewer to read. So you'll notice that these bullet points are quite a bit shorter and that's why I like the copy from ChatGPT, but her recommendation for user, user readability was that I make it a little bit shorter. So I did, and this is what it turned into. 
So that's kind of the primary section here. And then if we go back and look at another example in here, there's the sidebar bio was another piece that I used her template for. So again, it gave you some information, had you brain dump some things in there, and then it gives you some templates here that you can then again copy back into ChatGPT. So we're gonna go back into ChatGPT and I'll show you what that looked like when I built it. Okay, so now we're back in ChatGPT. You can see that this is the prompt that I've already used. So using this information, write a sidebar bio for my blog page using the following format. So then I gave it the format that I wanted. I gave it the details first and then I gave it the format. So it says use this template. So this is the framework that I copied from Val's template. This is framework number two. So you can see I put it in here and then I put in my notes from the brainstorming section up here in the beginning. So you literally just copy and paste the two of them together and then this is what it gave me. So I love this. I'm pretty sure I used it verbatim word for word. Uh, and again, super simple, didn't take me hardly any time at all. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even paste it into there because I loved it so much. I just put it right into uh, my website. You can see my bio right here. I copied it right from ChatGPT into this while I was building this. So that is a really quick rundown of how you can use ChatGPT with Val's copy templates. I found the process very easy, user-friendly. Like I said, I am not someone with copywriting experience. It did not take me very long. And now I have all of this beautiful copy on on my blog page, including some of these additional sections down here that it helped me write. Um, so if you would like to grab these templates as well, they will be linked in the show notes and also in any of the emails that I send out about them. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure that you like and subscribe so that you see all of the other tutorials that I'm going to be sharing in addition to my social media, email marketing, and podcasting tips and tricks. So until next time.